What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're playing a little bit more Domino. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today. It seemed like you guys were pretty stoked about this series, so I figured I'd record a couple more. Uh, we have Aurelius of Thrakes, right? Or Aurelius of somewhere. Never mind, he is a Thrakes. We can go after this guy. So we got a fight in front of us right now that popped in between episodes. Between Porkius, who is a 28 agility, 29 attack, 186 HP fighter. Okay. Does about 75 damage a swing. I think it's a pretty good idea that we send out the A team on this one. So that's exactly what I am going to do. Let's send out the A team and see if they can maybe solve a problem over here and earn us a little bit of cash. Unfortunately, I think my Twitch bot is still up. I was streaming this game the other day, and I think my Twitch bot is still trying to, yeah, whoop him. Whoop this dude. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Don't get too wounded. We just got to we gotta take this thing to the head. And so we made 418 coins right there. We got a little bit of food. We got a roll speed boost, and we've got... Catullus. Alright, so what I need to do right now is first off, I gotta turn off the bot. There we go. Let's turn off the bot real quick, because it's in the way. Uh, we got a couple of dudes down here that are not really that useful. I would recommend keeping a couple of weak gladiators that you can sacrifice. AI control gladiators react faster. That's actually one of the... Oh, he already has it. Okay, I was gonna say, that's one of the better abilities that you want to have on your guys. Are any of these dudes any good? It seems like most of these guys are pretty trash. And we'll go ahead and put that right there. And then indefatigable, why not? Roll speed boost, sure. Absolutely. We're researching Mermelo right now. Okay. Uh, let's go for weapon blueprints. Over here with the architect. How many palaces? Let's get a couple more palaces in. With the medicus, we'll start working on antiseptics. You guys, are you guys happy with me right now? There's an exhibition match right here. I would suggest that we run that. I'm going to put in one of the weaker guys versus our naked dude that we just got. Basically, it's a really good idea to just have a punching bag, in my opinion. Like, somebody whose job it is to do exhibition matches and just get beat on by, like, a slightly stronger guy. So give them all armor but no weapons, and then have them fight your weakest guys, and your weakest guys get level ups for every single time that they hit them. Unfortunately, he got a free sword, which means something might go wrong here. I have seen the naked guy actually win against fully geared guys after he picks up a weapon. It's not super frequent, but there you go. 17, 16, like, he got a bunch of level ups, which now makes him quite a bit more useful as a character to us. Unfortunately, these little guys right here, they're never going to be good for the pit. So, like, don't use them for that. Uh, we will buy some more food and some more water, and then we will attend a pit fight. That guy's name is Valentian, and he's a Thrakes. I'm gonna... It's only 150 bucks. I'm gonna kind of wait on that one. I don't know... I don't want to know what's gonna happen right there. Your guards have found and caged a lion. You imagine using the beast as a gladiator against your competitors. Yeah, train the lion. The lion takes well to training. Hopefully he won't eat anybody. Yeah, dude, I've never gotten a lion before. Like, ever. I was wondering how you get a lion. I saw it come up when I was streaming the game. They were like, oh, you gotta get a lion, man. Now we've got Gavius, who's freaking terrible so we can probably put just about anybody up against him and it'll more than likely be okay i do think it's a good idea that we start having like backup guys available so let's start training a mermelo to be kind of badass too it's a good idea to have like three to four guys that are all kind of in the realm of the skills that they're going to need in order to win all right off we go hopefully this goes okay Perfect. Absolutely flawless. Exactly what I was hoping would happen right there. Morellis got us another 437 coins and another punching bag. Hell yeah. Okay. So with our other punching bag down here, I'm not even going to use the lion to fight. I'm just going to use him as a mascot because he's awesome. Now let's go ahead and we will do gather stones so that these guys train a little bit faster. We should have, is auto healing on with our medicus right now? It is. Huzzah. I would like for you guys to kind of like heal up though. I know he can only heal one person at a time. And he's probably healing somebody else. Oh good, Mermelo's done, sweet. Uh, let's go with, let's see, an extra Jupiter's Blessing. Let's go with Disarming Weapon, sounds good. The ability to knock a weapon out of your opponent's hand seems like a really good plan. Oh, never mind, the Medicus is researching something else. We've got an Exhibition Match available right here. I'm going to take Morellis. And Courteous. 
And we're going to put them up against two of these dudes right here. There we go. This should be over pretty quickly, but it's free level up. So you should always be doing your exhibition matches as frequently as possible. It'll make your life easier. There you go. Get a couple hits off. Perfect. Perfect. Host Tepperman is up. 13-13. Yeah, dude. Whole bunch of level ups right there. Hell yeah. My wounds are grave. I will never be the same. Yeah, that's understandable. I mean, I've been using you to get beat to death the last little bit. So, like, it makes sense to me. But just hang in there. It's not going to get better. Like, I'd love to tell you it's going to get better, but it's not. It's just, it's not. Wish that I could tell you it was going to be okay. But honestly, Catellus is appeal for release. Nah, for whom does the bell toll? It tolls for thee. Nah, we're not going to. They might escape, but it's okay. They can escape a little bit later. I'm not that upset about it. We'll get some strength training equipment over here. He's back up to full health. Absolutely perfect. Defensive priority. I don't really play defensive priority. Like, I find that playing defensive in this game gets your characters killed most of the time. By all that. With the pit fight. Apparently the pit fight is against somebody that has, like, no chance of fighting us. And it's a 3v1. Let's put in... One of the guys that I'm trying to level right now. Yeah, we'll have Morellis do it. This guy basically has no chance of victory anyways. So we'll put Morellis in so that he can stack on another 8 or 9 points of agility, strength, and attack, and all that stuff. I just, I want to have a backup guy. Perfect. Oh, you chopped his head off. That seems super unnecessary. But you know what? Violent conflict is what we do here in the Nerd Castle. Violent conflict is what we do. Oh, weapon train speed. That's really good. Uh, yeah, put weapon train speed on him. And that looks perfect. Actually, had I thought about it, I would have put AI reaction speed on him. It would have made him a little bit better. Go ahead and heal up and stop training. And since you are now supposed to be my new protege, like my new dude, I'm going to say it's a good idea that maybe we put some better gear on you. Not like a crazy amount of gear, but something. Give you a couple commas right there so that you hit a little bit harder. Are they Oxford commas? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. But maybe someday. Maybe at some point. So we got another fight up right now. We're going up against Valius, who is a Mermelo with a Zweihander. 152 damage a hit. This is a dangerous fight because even if he gets a lucky hit off, it may kill our dude in less than two swings. And so even though our guy is way more skilled than their guy, there's a chance that we may just eat shit on this one. But luckily, it didn't go down that way. Occasionally what happens is the AI will get caught in a loop where they get knocked back, they move forward, they get knocked back, they get moved forward, and it'll cause you to lose really good characters to people that really aren't on their level. I don't need you, so we're going to get rid of you. We'll sell him at market. And if we've got an exhibition match ready to go... With an exhibition match, I would say... Morellius is moving on up. He's at attack 108, though, which is pretty good. Let's keep going with Morellius. Morellius is going to 2v1 out here. And this should give him, like, every single attack, they get roughly four level ups. And so, like, if we can get them, like, six or seven attacks in a fight, you can get 18 or 20 level ups automatically just by nature of like oh never mind he's hitting him too hard eh, that's three attacks he'll get something out of it not a lot but he'll get something oh never mind he got 28 27 good god man yeah he got a bunch of goodies right there he's turning into kind of a badass the local militia is disorganized and lacks training they wish to learn the art of hand-to-hand -hand combat from experienced fighters uh i think i will lend a gladiator to train him the gladiator trains the militia well and they pay you handsomely 25 bucks is handsomely huh i don't know how i feel about 25 bucks being considered handsomely but i suppose i'll take it i need my like a-line guy to be healed real fast like get him took care of please my medicus is healing other people so that's good i need to get up to the next level oh you got weapon level nine okay i mean compared to like weapon level 93 like some of my guys have it's not that crazy but it's good enough 
Let's go with weight training so that people move faster when they're inside their plate armor. That'll make things a little bit easier for us. Uh, do I have exhibition matches ready to go anywhere? Got an exhibition match over here. Let's put, he's at 80, 76, 98, 108. Good, they're getting better. They're definitely getting stronger. Let's take one of these little dudes, like, in the back that's not really doing a whole lot. Yeah, we'll put Ballbuster and we'll put Numidianus on there against a couple of these cats. There we go. So we'll get them rolling. Hopefully, they'll get some skill ups from this that'll make them worthwhile backup characters. Perfect. Lots and lots of hits off. That's what I like to see. Don't let him get that spear. I was going to say, that spear's going to hurt. You guys got daggers. That spear's going to hurt like hell. Don't let him get it. Yeah, not too bad. One guy trained a little bit better than the other, but couldn't have really asked for a better result there. That went pretty good. He's all nice and healed up, which is fantastical. He's happy with us. We've got Indefatigable 2. Defensive priority. Let me make sure I'm buying food and water while I'm in here. I need you to continue working on stones. Faber, I would like for you to do improved furnace. He's healed Bulbous. He should be healing pretty quickly at this point. Yeah, he's healing like 8 HP at a time, which is pretty good. It's not like the best, but it's still working people up. We got three days till our next fight. We'll try to eyeball this one and see if it's something that we want to get involved in or if we're just going to sacrifice a couple of our nudie boys over to the gods of the arena. Let's go with increased attack speed right there. That sounds really, really good. And we've got 74, 73, 101, and 120. So what we want to do here, basically how this works, is every time you lose a fight, it eases back on the difficulty. And so when you get a fight that's slightly harder than your best trained guys, what you want to do is you want to sacrifice some useless guys to the arena so that it resets the difficulty and things get easier again. So these guys are just going to get chewed on. I'm glad we didn't take that fight because 540 damage hits is definitely not something that I was in the market for. Also, our little squad was a little bit full, and so I don't mind losing a guy or two. I'm going to suggest patronage right here. So he has adopted Courteous. Which one is Courteous? The magistrate drunkenly stumbles into your villa demanding whores and wine. We'll get him whores and wine then. After a few hours of whoring and drinking, the magistrate drifts off into a dreamless state. You take the opportunity to crudely draw a small penis on his face. Because that's what friends do. They buy you liquor and prostitutes and then draw a penis on your face. That's what friends are for. It's what friends are for. Let's go ahead and get some of these hot coal pits going too. I need to get some of this built. We honestly, we're not like halfway through the game yet, but we're getting there. We're going to want to start to make moves pretty soon. What's up with the pit fight? Velius, he's got nine victories. I mean, he doesn't have a weapon, so... We might as well send in the champ to smash him real fast. I'm not exactly sure why he showed up to a pit fight without a weapon. It's kind of like showing up to your mechanics job without a wrench. But I'm not going to question it too much. Eh, a couple little level ups. Hey, Fenestella. Okay. Fenestella and Flavius. Gotcha. Wait, you can put him like... I couldn't tell what happened to him. I literally got stuck in the... Yeah, he's stuck on the side right there. <laughs> uh, the coal pit is done. Let's keep working on those. And then we've also finished off attack vector. I would like to have... Let's work towards evasive roll because evasive roll can actually get your fighters out of a lot of sketchy situations pretty easily. I'll probably wait to take the exhibition match till he's feeling a little bit better. Six days till our next fight. Yeah, let's take the exhibition match. We will put Morellis on it. And we will have Morellis fight both of you. He'll probably one-shot both of you in, like, one single swing because he's kind of getting mighty. But, you know, it's necessary. I'm trying to get him free skill-ups. I'm sorry that I have to beat you about the head, neck, and shoulders in order to level up one of my weaker guys, but it's just kind of necessary. Yeah, like five or six attacks off right there. That should be a good level up. 
Yeah, that was a really good level up. He actually... He's getting pretty close to where our other guy's at. These two are actually almost as good as each other now. It may be time to invest a little bit of money into his equipment. Just kind of make sure that like he's got the things that he needs in order to pull on through. And I'll do the same thing for our other character too. Do I want him to have a two-hander? Yeah, I kind of do. I kind of do. There we go. And then for you, you're obviously our champion over here, and you haven't had any upgrades in a while. So I'll throw a little bit of money your way just to kind of get you feeling a little stronger. I'm not going to, like, break the bank or anything, but I will throw a few more upgrades towards him so that, like, people know that he's our arena champion. All right, so Catullus is training over there. Amos is doing his thing. I may use him, since he has no weapon, I may use him for exhibition fights. Since he's already got gear or whatever. Uh, yeah, I put in Morellis one more time. And... Let's see here. Didn't one of you guys not have a weapon? Or does he have a knife or something? Oh, he must have a knife. Well, I mean, we're not going to use Fenestella or Bonasaurus. So we'll use them as training dummies too. He'll probably get a decent fight off right here. Like, I'll probably just ditch them after this fight. Probably just, like, sell them at market or something like that. Maybe even free them. It might not be the worst idea. That was actually a pretty good fight. He actually threw down for being massively outskilled and having no chance of victory. He still threw down pretty hard. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, the crowd enjoyed the fight, too, because the underdog got a lot of swings off. All right, so you guys come down to the bottom row over here. And the bottom row are always my training dummies. Here's our next fight. Pays 518 coins. Many of our gladiators against many of the gladiators from another Ludus. We'll put in pretty much everybody. I mean, whoever survives, survives. If they make it through, they're strong enough for the arena, and if they don't, they're not. And that's the way I rationalize that. There you go. Nice and easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The big guy's carried, but the little guy's got some chops off too. I saw the little dude swinging, so hopefully they got some level ups. We made really nice money off of that fight, which is great. AI training went up. Yeah, a little bit on each of them. Not a lot, but crowd favor was looking good. Uh, Hosidius, you are free. You are sold. Architect, keep digging pits. We've got evasive roll right there. A training accident has severely wounded a gladiator. Have the medicus tend to it immediately. He will survive and returns to training quickly. Good, because it was one of our best guys, I think. I don't know. One of our guys took a little scuffing right there. A little scuffing on his MacGuffin. Ninius the lion. I can't change. Lions are worth 500 bucks? Damn, dude. I didn't realize lions were worth that much. Medicus, are you actually healing people in here? He's taking his sweet ass time. I gotta heal my A team real quick. Yeah, if you got like wounds, get stronger. It's about the best I can recommend for you. If you got wounds, we got five days till our next fight, so I kind of need you to be better at this. 25. Bonasaurus has appealed for release. No, Bonasaurus, I'm sorry. I can't let you go. I love you too much. I love you too much, and you're too big a part of my life. Alright, so we probably have an exhibition match around here. Faber upgraded him to a basic chest plate, which is pretty cool. That's nice. I may take some of these dudes over here. Like, he's getting better stats. So it might not be the worst idea to throw a couple upgrades on him. Just so if we have a group fight, he can jump in on it and be a part of it. 
He's not doing that well, but he's doing, like, better. Uh, we've got Irenaceus, which is a super easy fight. Uh, agility level 10, attack level 18. He only does 58 damage, and it's a 3v1. We can probably put in a couple of these guys. I don't see why we can't use some of our lower level guys to kind of whittle on this dude. Like, you should always be looking for opportunities to increase people's XP in this game. It just makes things easier. Like, if you've got a stable of, like, eight guys that are all round about level 100, you're probably going to be okay and make it to endgame. You want to have, like, one or two guys at max level and everybody else kind of around 100. Yeah, not too bad. Spread the love around a little bit. Uh, Kalius is agility training. We will give him a little bit more gear. And then grant him his freedom. You, I will sell. And it's probably roundabout time for another gaggle. Um, put in. So we got like four guys at the bottom. Yeah, put in put in Amos. Maybe that might be a bit much. I'm trying to maximize the amount of XP we get here. That'll work. Like I think this fight should be okay, although Bono Bonosaurus is kind of good, so this might go a direction we don't want it to go in. But I was looking to get one of these little dudes leveled up. Yeah, Bonosaurus is kind of doing good right now, but he should get mad level ups. So we'll have to get rid of one of these guys. But he should get crazy level ups, because he just like soloed four guys. Yeah, he did. In fact, a bunch of people in there got a ton of level ups. Sweet. I'm okay with it. Curtius got a little bit tuned up. But I think I can live with it. Uh, once our training dummies down here start feeling better. So we got indefatigable, maximum stamina increased by 50%. Sure, why not? We also have shield steward, poison blade. Yeah. Put poison blade on one of these dudes. Bonosis is getting kind of badass right now. He's getting a little stronger. It's starting to worry me. I may have to put him in the main rotation. By chance, a vintner has accidentally delivered a cask of very expensive wine to your Ludus that was intended for your competitor. Uh, wrong Ludus. He sheepishly thanks you for the correction and realizes the mistakes and packs the cask of wine. Dude, I'm rich enough to where I don't need to cheat people out of their stuff. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying is it seems a little skeevy. Uh, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Domina. I will see you all in the next episode. Hopefully we'll be able to do a long run through here and get done with it and actually like beat the game but i don't know we'll see what happens hi to everybody and take care i'll see you in the next episode of domina get it down below and don't forget to leave a like